Good morning, and welcome back to my car. It's it's like the perfect morning for this time of year right now. It's about 35 degrees. Just, you know, a fall morning. The sun is already up in the sky because we just experienced the un- daylight savings time. We just set our clocks back an hour. Uh, technically yesterday, uh, it was 2 a.m. Sunday morning uh, that they all kind of reset. Speaking of which, I have not done the ones in my car yet. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. I'm trying not to. Really trying. So, I have two clocks in my car. I have a digital one on the radio, but I also have an analog clock mounted in the dash as well. Uh, and the disappointing part about the analog clock is that to set it forward is no problem. You just push the button, the hands go around, you wait till they make it an hour, and then you're done. But to set it back, you have to let it go around 23 hours, which just takes a long time. It goes pretty quick, but I'd much rather there be a backward function. I changed the clock in Mary Jane's car already. All the clocks in the house are right. I just haven't done the ones in my car yet. So technically, I'm late for school, but really, I'm not. Uh, the time change also seems to sometimes have an effect on the students, so I'm hoping today is relatively normal. Um, we'll see. I hope. Fingers crossed. But I want to talk about a different period of time, and that is the age of the dinosaurs. Um, science tells us, and fossils tell us, that dinosaurs roamed the Earth uh, several tens of billions of years ago, which is impossible for the human mind to fathom, because we are only on this Earth for, on average, 85 years give or take. Um, so we can't, we can't even begin to picture what billions upon billions of years looks like and what this earth looked like at that time. I mean, we can study it, we can assume, we can, we can give educated guesses, but ultimately there's no way for us to know. But fossils tell us that there were certain types of dinosaurs roaming the earth at certain periods of time. I have a hard time wrapping my head around this because I believe in creationism. I believe in the Bible. And in the beginning, God took one week to create all the animals of the earth, all the earth itself, and human life. So to me, that tells me that humans and dinosaurs lived on this earth at the same time. We don't, we don't see that in, in our history books, in our science books, in our movies, TV shows that you know, include dinosaurs. We sometimes see the spoof comedy of you know, cavemen battling dinosaur-like creatures, but we're told pretty much that humans and dinosaurs did not live on earth together which in my mind in all in all I know and believe humans have been around since the beginning of time evolutionists think differently and I can respect that they think differently I'm not going to force them to think the way that I do all I know is what I believe and I know what they think um, so that explains the dinosaur human relationship a little more easily to the human mind uh, and it comes across a little more plausible, we'll put it that way, that dinosaurs are here and then billions of years pass and then humans evolved. Take that for what it's worth. But beyond that, my question is, was there ever only one Tyrannosaurus Rex? How in the world did these things rule the dinosaur kingdom? I mean, that's, that's the one dinosaur that you see, like, even in Jurassic Park, the original, not Jurassic World. Um, and, and We're Back, a dinosaur story, and The Land Before Time, and all these dinosaur movies. You see one T-Rex. I think Ice Age 
Dawn of the Dinosaurs actually introduces to but I could be wrong I've only seen it once and there's like five of those movies now and it's really annoying um but you only see one of these guys and I get Jurassic Park is like a recreation so we'll give that one a little bit of leeway but there had to be I mean you see hundreds of Tyrannosaurus or hundreds of uh, Triceratops hundreds of Brontosauruses Brontosauri Brontosauruses Bront Brontosauris multiple of the species of Brontosaurus. Um, you see Stegosaurus, you know, in herds. You see a bunch of Pterodactyls. But you only ever see one Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he's always the bad guy that's trying to eat everybody else and running towards them. Um, except when we're back. But that's another kind of time traveling modern day thing. So, hmm. Sorry. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex is kind of viewed as this this evil ultimate monster. Like everybody's got to be afraid of the T-Rex. We gave him a nickname. Can't be that afraid of him. We don't call Triceratops T-Tops. <laughs> Some people call the Brontosaurus a long neck. time they knew anyway. Oh, three horns. Three horns and long necks. And shark tooth. Or sharp tooth. I never really could understand the uh, enunciation on that. Shark tooth or shark tooth. I don't know. But even more beyond them just always being labeled as like the, the monster is there's ever only ever one of them. There's one T-Rex in every of these movies. Every one of these movies. And that's really annoying because there should be more. There should be like groups of them, which is even more terrifying. So I think you want to, as an entertainer or an author or an archaeologist for that matter, archaeologist, paleontologist, that's the word, paleontologist, you'd want to document and make it known that there's more than one of these things. And obviously we have fossils of more than one at various museums and things. They may or may not be fabricated, but I'm confused as why the entertainment industry specifically, books and movies, movies more, only portray one Tyrannosaurus Rex as their villain. Is it because if there was more than one, everybody would just die and be eaten? Because if that were the case, then history is wrong too, because all the T-Rexes would have just eaten everybody, they would have been all that's left. And then we wouldn't find many of the skeletons of other dinosaurs because they'd all be digested inside the T-Rex's stomach. I don't know. I'm no scientist. I'm no paleontologist. I'm no historian. I just find it interesting that in each movie we only see one T-Rex ruling over everybody. On a side note, I gave myself a haircut last night. You like it? Looks good. Awesome. Thank you. I'll see you this afternoon.